ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Darnock with TGN, bringing you game number two of this best of three series between Mouse Mana and Beast TQT. The second map is going to be Crevasse. Not only we see too, too much anymore, but it is still kicking it around a, a few tournaments in the lower right. We do have the green Protoss player, Mouse Mana, and his opponent, the blue Terran, the victor of the previous game, Beastie QT. Now, that was, uh, I'd say that previous game was pretty out of character for Mana. I really don't see him go for all ins all that much, but I guess he just wanted to try and get it out of his system or something, see if he could get an easy win off Beastie QT, throw him off, and uh, then just go on with the series and see where the wind does decide to blow him. However, obviously, didn't really work out all that well for him. I would not be surprised at all if we saw Mana go into a much more standard macro game uh, here, as again, he is certainly a fantastic player, one of Europe's best. I think he's actually rated like third place or something on uh, the TLPD over at TeamLiquid.net, which is obviously very, very strong indeed. So, again, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that he really felt the need to go for that all-in. Normally the player who is considered better or is at least the most confident tends to try and go for the macro games because the longer the game goes on, the more likely he is to win as you just uh, both players have to make more decisions and obviously the better player will make less mistakes with those decisions. So uh, it, it's still interesting to me. I mean, I'm still trying to like wrap my head around why Mana decided to go for that three-gate Blink Stalker all-in. I mean, it's a pretty neat all-in. I love me some Blink Stalkers, do not get me wrong. I just really am not sure it was quite necessary uh, for him to do Beastie QT again, going for that cute little Supply Depot, just starts it just a little bit with his Scouting SCB, and then as soon as this Barracks finishes, you see it's rallied right over there to finish it up. This will just prevent, oh my, it'll just prevent that <laughs> that uh, Scouting Pro from getting in. However, what I was oh my about is Mal's Man is going for a Nexus first on this map. Uh, looks like it was a 16 or 17 Nexus, maybe 15, but that seems a little bit fast. Somewhere in that neighborhood, he's going to add a gateway behind this. And this is actually very OGSMC style. OGSMC loves to do stuff like this uh, on big macro maps. He loves to just be very, not aggressive with his expansion, but very greedy with it, very in your face. And then he will sit on 18 out of 18 supply for a long time, which is what we are seeing right now. Well, now, man, I went down to 17 briefly. I guess he did lose his scouting probe to this Marine. Yep, it does have a single kill on it. But as I was saying, very OGSMC-esque. However, BCQT did scout this pretty damn quickly, so he is going to have a lot of time to respond to it. And it looks as if he is going to be going, oh my goodness, BCQT. <laughs> looks like he just wants to kill Mal's mana here and now, adding on a total of three more barracks. Which is quite a number of barracks, I have to say. This is, of course, not an unreasonable response. I mean, when you see a, a Nexus go down that early before any sort of production whatsoever, it, it is quite tempting to just build a bunch of units and go and try to kill the guy. And there's a pretty high chance of BCQT making this work. I mean, four barracks, five barracks, actually. He's building four right now, plus the one from the beginning. He's going to have so, so many Marines, and he actually... It's almost as if he knew this was happening, because he hasn't thrown down any gas or anything like that. In fact, probably what his plan to do was to go for another one racks gasless expand. Uh, but when you saw that juicy nexus, it was too tempting a target to pass up. Especially because it's over here in front of the main base of mana. On this map, there is, of course, a backdoor expansion over here, which does have one less Vespine Geyser. It has a couple less mineral patches as well, but it's much, much safer. So mana taking a pretty big gamble here. And I honestly don't know if he's going to be able to hold off off the coming aggression from Beast to QT. He does have a couple of gateways up. He does have a cybernetics core on the way, at, or not on the way, but it's here. It's, it's right here right now. It's on the field uh, researching warp gate, in fact, but that's that's not a lot of production. It's two gateways compared to five barracks, and as we all know, the Marine is like the best unit in the entire game, and oh my god, Beast QT pulling almost every single one of his SCVs, only four Five SCVs, uh, even that one's going. Only four SCVs and a mule left at home. BCQT has been taking Nama lessons or something. But Mana is going to scout this out with these Stalkers. These Stalkers are very, very safe. You see, they are both in the green. They are microing as best as they can, trying to whittle down the health on these Marines as much as possible, which is, of course, very easy to do. It's pretty easy to micro against them. Now, Mana really needs to get that Stalker out of there because he needs as, as many units as he can possibly get. Now, he's pulling these probes back into his main base. It looks like he's going to have... Three Three stalkers and one zealot. If we take a look at the units tab, wow, there are 20 marines on the field right now. 
Uh, if we look at the army tab, it is oh, almost double supply for BCQT. Man, it looks as if he is in a lot of trouble here. Now he's microing well with these stalkers, trying to kill as many units as he can. The SCV is going for a surround and almost get one of those stalkers. And there it is. It gets trapped up against that cyber. Next door, it does go down. The second stalker going to get poked to death by those SCVs. It is going to be tickled until the life is all out of it. But okay, we need to see these probes pulled right now. And then it is going to do that. Uh, these Marines trying to focus down the pylon. The pylon goes down. Only one gateway is uh, being powered right now. But so many probes get pulled offline. Almost all the SCVs have fallen. Not many Marines are remaining either. Four stalkers are on the field. And I think Mouse Vanna is going to be able to hold the Marines getting surrounded, trapped, and destroyed next to the edge of Mouse Mana's base. And there we see the GG from BCQT. Oh my god, that was actually... I think that game had the highest intensity to time ratio uh, of all ever of all time because that was a seven minute forty second game and that was so hardcore. So now's mana uh, in a crazy game despite its short length is going to tie things up one to one. It's all going to come down to the final match. Let's go see what.